so I decided um, to um, do a video since um, I'm kind of a bit lonely at the moment. Um, you know, it's late, early as out the morning. You know, the three a.m. Um, up, up until 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 the light is up. You know, um, you know, I really frustrated that my life hasn't changed in since so, 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 um, you know the feeling you you try to change everything about yourself to so that you be wanted and accepted and it's never good enough for your family or any person you know can tell when you need someone to be there for you and you feel like there's nothing must be really something really awful that happens to me because because like because because when i need to talk to someone they're not there it's not there they're not available and you really need to talk to someone and it's like and the minute you you drop a bucket about something they just just drop you you know you know i i, I just find it just frustrating you know you know people say they're loving and stuff but they're not they show the true color to your family and everybody around you you know it's like you know it's 2020 and still people are just so prejudiced you know, your family, they're prejudiced about being disabled, it's almost as if they, someone disabled, they feel like, oh, it's a good thing that, that you're isolated, right? You know, I, um, it's okay, you live in care home, I don't want to get involved, so I'm going to drop you, I'm going to drop you, you know? Nobody goes and visit you or talk to you, and if they do, it's like, like they agree that how you treat it is okay, everything is good, or justify their side of the story. You know, it's it's a it's it's a terrible thing. You know, you know, it's hot. It's like everything is brings off. You know, one thing I never know that the feelings I have, growing up as a child, during lockdown, has not changed since. Since, since um, since the things I remember writing in my diaries as a child, or my memories, my experiences has not changed. My circumstances has not changed. You know. You know, I fed up being blacklisted in life. You know, I made her feel like no, there's no room in people's I have no room in people's life or or treat me like I'm in a, I'm a china doll you know you know there's things that just gets me really frustrated you know you know you know when your life is felt failure it's 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 when 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 you need someone to talk to and you feel like there's no one to talk to there is no one there's no one you can talk to there's no one in your physical being in the physical world in your area or family members to fight for you there is no one everyone is betrayed you everyone and 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 you you feel like something is bad happened to you you know and when you, and you feel bad for making your mother cry because because you know because it's about her what how she felt. And the thing is, though, you carry about how she feels all the time, or you know you don't want to make person cry about about the things. But the thing is, though, you're stuck, and you're unhappy, and 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 you know people make you feel so alone, so alone. I'm not blaming being can feel guilty, but it is is a it's a hideous experiences. You know, I wish I didn't you know you know, I meditate and pray. Okay, who can I talk to? And I begin there's no one in the freaking world to talk to. 
you know you got social media you have no friends you have people that that you know and it is betrayal you feel betrayed you know and people justify you know for example you have a care of giver they make you feel bad they they offer you a to, they're paid to 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 do something for you right and the reason why you say no because they make you feel bad about it they make you feel like you're better off dead and it's beyond the few you know it is an awful feeling you know i don't have the right to say how i feel this is why i'm probably still campaigning about about disabled people and about my community you know is that People are forced to keep quiet, and keeping quiet kills people. You know what their experience in life is not valued. Just because someone may not agree with something doesn't mean that person's feelings is not valid. People's feelings is valid, you know, because they the one who experienced the the thing that happened to them. It may not happen to them, and and they and they, and, and, and it shakes people's beliefs, but sometimes. Sometimes it's a good thing to shake people's belief to to that that what happened to them it, 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 to to question and and experience of life. You know, you you know, but you know it's for me. It reminds me that I have no one to see in my life. I have no one in my life to be. Who is to see it? There's no one who 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 can make move my life. It's you know, you know, I you know, it's it's you know, you know, and, and you know, and it, you know, if I invite someone to about something, they all pretend that it's not because because they're afraid. They're afraid what other people think. They're afraid that their reputation is ruined. You know, that's to break their belief. You know, I was forced my all, whole life. I've been forced to be alone. And that's why my had my whole life I felt suicidal because people made me feel that way, made me feel I like was a bad person. My whole life, I made to feel guilty for wanting to be equal, to be treated equally. You know, and, and sometimes you want to say to people at church who 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 think they're doing good things to you, and you say I'm sorry, but you make me feel horrible. You know, but they then. But if you say that to them, they could turn against you and say, "Actually, I was going out my way. You should just be fair." Yes, it's nice that you went out of the way, but sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you have to respect where someone's come from. You know, I walked out with with someone who was abusive to me at church. Some um some some time ago. Um, um, sometime last year, um, some two years ago, you know, oh, and and yes, you know, and I was so happy when when I, had, I was able to to have the right to go and get to, to be able to travel on my own because I didn't need that abuse. I didn't need to be psychologically ab- abused by spiritually, emotionally, psychological abuse by someone at church, you know. And yes, they're trying to make the beds, but I I put my fences for a reason because people are can be so they they just don't they don't listen. Not your own family, no one. You know, it's the betrayal is this betrayal, and sometimes okay, you accept that that these people are weak, but sometimes you just fed up being put in the dish, the dish, the dish, and being dropped down in life. And being an exiled in your own family, your own community, your own, the own, and from, and from all aspects of society, you know. I feel sometimes it's a waste to, 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 to run the support awareness to group with my church community, in the Church of Jesus Christ community, um, 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 of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints community with, that I support, that I run. Because, because the thing is, though, is because because I wonder if 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 it does actually make a real difference. Because because I just I just feel like there's no real change. 
there's no real change. I don't be patient, you know. And yes, you can you know. Yes, I I inspired other people to. I was the first person to do the Facebook group, and it seems like that was a very difficult thing for me. You know, it's just. You know, I just, it's just a very difficult road, but yeah, I just think it's, it, it, it's a difficult road, you know, but, you know, I meditate and ask the universe a question, I ask God a question, and it seems to be the answer is that, that it's not me being a bad person, I've been allowed to, to, to to go through this long journey because I'm an authentic person. And maybe and maybe 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 I decided to brave out to put this video because I need people to be aware about the the the, the feats that they're doing and what it affects other people. The population of the planet. And, and, and you know, at least I at least I at least I've told the universe to say and, and God and, and say, okay, I've I've been having this dishing out moment, so so I decided to post this because because I just fed up. The universe, they think and maybe the universe can change me, change something for me this time, to have actually someone who's there available for me, and not bothering others. Oh, by the way. Oh, but it, by the way, I had I had a I had a carer, Kev Kev caregiver, um manager, the care manager ma manager, um, when she said to me, in um this was two years ago, she's still a manager, the the care home is stopped, and she said to me that that, that I shouldn't bother other people when I'm feeling sad. That was that's the sort. Don't tell people that when when they have a history of being feeling suicidal or de diagnosed with personality disorder. That's an awful thing to say. There shouldn't even people who say these things in a care system in a care world should not even be a doctor or or in a care care given world. She doesn't have the right to have a to to to. to